Hello viewers, welcome to Limu TV, a session where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Philaris Tirit. Today we are going to look at English Form 1, Lesson 1. And our lesson today will be on grammar, which will be our topic, and our subtopic will be on adverbs. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to define an adverb and describe the different types of adverb. So we'll begin by defining what is an adverb. An adverb is a word which tells us more about verbs. We can also say that an adverb is a word that is used to modify to modify verbs and adjectives, so that the, and to modify to modify verbs and adjectives to provide more information. Most adverbs answer to questions such as how, how often, when, and where. And we have five types of adverbs. As you can see, we have adverb of place, adverbs of manner, adverb of time, adverb of degree, and adverb of frequency. So we're going to begin with the word types, adverb of place. So we can begin by saying adverb of place tell us where something is or happens. They also tell us where an action takes place. If we look at adverb of place, maybe from the examples, we can say, I looked for it everywhere. Already, as we've stated adverb of place, they tell us where something is or happens. So if we say, I looked for it everywhere, everywhere becomes our adverb of place. Another example, such as the cat is under the table. The word under is an adverb of place because it tells us where the cat is. We can also look at the second type of an adverb, which is an adverb of manner. We can explain and say, they show us the way in which an action is being done or was done. And most adverb of manner are placed after the object of a sentence. And, they, if, and if there is no object, they come directly after the verb. If you can look at the example, he plays the flute beautifully. The word flute is our direct object, and the word beautifully is our adverb of manner. And what we can say about adverb of manner is that most adverb of manner are formed from adjectives because we add the ly. We can see from the example, he played the flute beautifully. It can, maybe we have the word, our word, our adjective word as beautiful, but it is modified, modified by the addition of ly, so that you can have the word beautifully. Another example, the boy walked quickly to the field. The word quickly has been modified with the ly. So our, the, our adverb of manner becomes the word quickly and most adverbs of man answer to the question how so most adverbs of manner tells us how the action was done other examples or other words that are used to explain ex adverb of manner include the word clearly slowly sadly warmly and loudly next we're going to look at the adverbs of time adverb of time show us when something happened it answers the question when when did the action take place? So we can look at the examples. For instance, we have the word she will wed today. So the question that we are going to ask ourselves is when did she wed? And the answer will be she wed, she will wed today. So today becomes our adverb of time because it answers the question when was the wedding done? Other examples include I will visit her tomorrow she will now be more careful. She has been here since 1st January. The word tomorrow, now, in January are our, ad are our adverbs of time because they tell us or they answer to the question when did the action happen. Other words that can be used to exp explain adverbs of time include the word next, today, late, before. Can we look at adverbs of frequency? And we can say this the uh, adverb of frequency are words that are used or they, are des they describe how often an action happens. They answer the question how often. We can also say adverb of frequency describe the definite frequency in one such as weekly, daily, or yearly. We have six main adverbs of frequency that we use in English. 
These include the word always, sometimes, usually, rarely, often, and never. We can also look for them in the following examples. They are sometimes late. The question is, how frequency is the do of the action or how, f how, how, f how many times does the doer of the action or how many times does the do of the action do the action? We can see sometimes. We also have they are always punctual. My father is rarely forgetful. The word sometimes, always, and rarely are the examples of frequency. Lastly, we have adverbs of degree. They show to what extent something happens. Examples, it is too hot today. So it tends to answer the question, how? It's too hot. Maybe it regards to weather, you can say it is too hot. So the question is, how hot is the weather? And you can explain by the using the adverb of this being such as your work is fairly your work is fairly accomplished you exactly. can see that the word fairly and very are examples of the adverbs of degree other examples are such as our team is fully prepared the secretary is rather busy today other examples include or other words are used to, exp to address the adverbs of degree include the word true full almost and quiet quite so that is the end of the, our lesson and you can look at the activity and our activity will be used the following adverbs to form sentences the words are adverbs can you construct sentences using the adverbs given we have partly frequently next quietly and everywhere for this and much our reference book you can Check them from Exiling in English Students Book 1, which is a third edition published by the Kenya Literature Bureau. And for this and more, you can contact us on the following. Our SMS line has shown. We also have the content on YouTube posted on Elimu TV. We also have on Facebook at Elimu TV and on Twitter. You can follow us at Elimu, at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you very much.